Hi, welcome back to Last Night I Watched. My name's Christian. I'm here with my buddies Ian, Carlos, and Mark. And today we are talking about the new series called Halo based on the games. Hello, Master Chief. I'm Cortana. The Master Chief was enhanced and trained for one purpose. To win this war, he and the other Spartans are our only effective weapons against the Covenant. Cortana, I'm gonna need you now. So, Carlos, what do you think of it? Ooh, first episode of the long-awaited Halo TV show. Um, I've been waiting for this one since it was announced like years ago at one of the E3 conferences. I remember Spielberg getting up on the giant screen and saying, Hey guys, I'm making the Halo TV show. Get ready. Wait, Steven Spielberg has something to do with this? Yeah, he actually is credited as producer in I this didn't one. I not know that at yeah. all. I thought he was going to direct it, but Christian, did you I'll know take that? producer. Yeah, his Amway I, Entertainment. I didn't know we had any involvement now. Yeah, I didn't know that That's at all. That's cool, though. Yeah. So it's finally here in 2022. Um, <laughs> You know, growing up with these games, I remember uh, Christmas in 2000, uh, my dad got me the original Xbox, and this was one of the first video games when I was like, what, like five or six? Right. <laughs> um, and we went through the whole original campaign together, and it was one of the best video games I've ever played. Um, fast forward all these years, we played Halo 2, 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo Wars, Halo for the mobile phone, Halo 4, <laughs> Halo 5, Halo Infinite. Merchandising, and now, merchandising. Oh, I got, toys I got all the action figures, yeah. and now we finally arrived at the live-action TV show. Um, it was good for a first episode. Um, I really appreciated the violence. It's a very violent TV show compared to what we've had with the recent video games where they've tried to um, rate them more T for teen instead right. of mature like the originals were. Uh, so we don't have as much violence in these new video games, so it was very nice to see that in the TV show that we're going all in. Um, the, some of the CGI effects I've seen on the internet, people are pointing out how bad some of the effects look. But overall, I mean, they look good to me. The armor looks great. Um, the weapons. Um, Plot-wise, it seems to be taking place after the books. Um, I've only read uh, The Fall of Reach, and that was even a long time ago, where they explain how... The kids are abducted, and then they're put into the Spartan program. So it seems like we're kind of trying to uh, explore what happens after that um, by Master Chief almost gaining a conscious in this one. And instead of being a total robot, he's trying to save this new girl that we're introduced to. One of the rebels, uh, soldiers, daughters. Um, you know, it was a little slow in the middle of it. Uh, trying to introduce uh, Captain Keys and, um, oh man, not Cortana, but Dr. Halsey, the creator of Cortana. Right. Um, it's, I mean, the casting seems fine to me so far. Uh, they changed a few uh, looks up, but hey, well, you know, I, sometimes change is good. Um, I'm excited to see where it goes from here, you know? Well, I'm ready for episode two already. What do you think, Mark? Um... <clears throat> If it weren't for this podcast, I would have never watched it. Because <laughs> um, have you ever played the games? No, I know nothing about the games. I've never played them. Never seen them played. Know nothing about the books. Nothing. All I know is, is is this cat and this weird ass helmet, and that it's a shooter, and that's all I know about it. So um, I don't know if that puts me in advantage or disadvantage. Um, but uh, like I said, I, I would not have watched it. Except for the, you know, because the show I, I did, and um, I I kind of liked it, and I'm I'm uh, I'm drawn into it. I want to see what happens next week. It was nice that they kind of started out with a with the battle, um, you know, it was a few minutes into it, but you know, they started out with the battle, like you said the, and I guess the internet saying that the CGI is not the greatest. There were a couple of places in there where, you know, it could have been better. But, you know, it is made for television, you know, so. Um, and I, I, I'm going to go into this later on in, a little bit deeper. But for now, um, yeah, yeah, I, I liked it. I would not have watched it before, but I'm glad that I did. The battle, and then it slowed down a little bit. 
then it started cranking up there toward the end and uh yeah i i yes i would say for the most part yes i liked it i'm glad i watched it that's cool cool i liked the beginning uh which i already covered with you ian um you know that was cool it took him a while to get to the uh title screen that was interesting yeah that was interesting Um, yeah yeah uh it dragged a little bit and uh I don't know if, are we, I guess we're getting into spoilers. Yeah, this will be our spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he already takes his helmet off, so that oh, was yeah. interesting. Because in, ga- in the game, Unfortunately, he... not Steve Downs, who isn't doing the voice either, which was disappointing as well. Right? Yeah. Because one thing... If you haven't played the games, then you don't really, there's no connection to that, but having grown up playing the games and having Chief's voice be played by Steve Downs for pretty much everything since the first Halo, and then having him not be in this show felt off. One thing I wanted to tell Mark is, um, you, at least in the first three, you never see him with his helmet off, right? Doesn't he take it off at the very end of the first one and you don't see it's It's hidden, you can't see his face? Right. Was that the first one, I think? Yeah. At, when you beat the game? Yeah. Yeah, the very end of the first one. One thing, Christian, that you brought up yesterday that I thought was a really good point is, like, you said it could be, like, a Darth Vader situation. Like, um, the guy that's playing him physically doesn't have to be the voice. Like, you know, James Earl Jones is not in the Darth Vader suit. Right. They could do that. I mean, I don't know, maybe Steve Downs was asking for more than what they were willing to give him. Or maybe they just can't do that because they want this guy's helmet off a lot. Yeah. I I was I actually I was doing a virtual signing with Steve Downs. Um, I think it was January or February, oh, nice. and he was talking about the TV show and how Jen Kirkman, uh, the voice of Cortana in the video games, is gonna be in there. So I commented in there. I was like, "Oh man, that's so cool! Cortana is gonna be in there. What about you?" And he like went, "Oh yeah, no, that's great. That yeah, no, I'm not gonna be in it. No." He kind of seemed disappointed. That's that's lame. It was super lame. Yeah. Because yeah. he's, yeah, like, Christian, like, yeah, he's Master Chief to me. Yeah. Because, um, he, he is Master Chief. Yeah. In general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian, you were saying that, um, like, uh, the new guy's voice, that basically, I don't know, do you, do you care for it? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, it's, like, it's tough to say because it's one episode on, right. Right. Uh, how many episodes are there going to be? I think you he said know? eight. I think he told me eight. Is that right? Eight. I have no idea. That would be nice eight, if it's eight. Eight, I think, is the usual nowadays. I'll take eight. <clears throat> I, I feel like eight's like a common number with yeah. these series yeah. nowadays. So. Well, going back I'm to the sure. going back to the helmet thing, um, that was a big thing in Halo Three. I remember the developers explaining on a behind the scenes how we've never seen Master Chief's face before in a video game and I don't think we ever have since there's like a teaser at the end of Halo 4 where we see like a glimpse of his eyes but we've never seen his head and the um, sorry his face and the big reason is because they want you to be Master Chief when you're picking up the controller and you're playing you are Master Chief we you're the guy in the suit that's a great point yeah (laughs) it's like Link you know that's his, his name is Link because um you're supposed to be Link. That's oh. why they always let you choose your name when you're playing Legend of Zelda. Oh. Like, Link is just what they call him because, you know, they need, like, a, um, a, what do you call it? Oh, thank you. Um, like, you know, a name for him in Super Smash Brothers Melee or whatnot. Oh, okay. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, and then I had another thing pointed out to me. Um, one of my buddies, he said, um, you know, Mandalorian, they did it so well where they tease it through the whole first season and then in the final episode of the first season, then we finally get to see Pedro Pascal's face. Right. In this one, he just takes his helmet off immediately, and there we go. Spoiler, there, there's Master Chief after all the, all these years that we've been playing as him. There's Master Chief's face. Yeah, it's almost like they're kind of shooting their load a little too soon. You yeah. Know? And him telling the joke. <laughs> that He told the joke? Not, it's, that their relationship's not ready for a joke. Wait, yeah. he told the joke? What was the joke? It was, um, what, oh, so what do you eat? And yeah. then Chief says, nuts, bolts, microchips. 
Oh, I didn't even catch yeah. that. And then and he then, looks at her and he says, it's a joke. Right. <laughs> oh, I didn't even... Christian, did you pick that up? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I don't remember that. That's funny, actually. <laughs> I mean, they're trying to explore, like, more humanity of Chief, so I guess that's why okay. you gotta get his helmet off. That's why you gotta have somebody actually acting as okay. him. Because in the video games, he's the strong, silent type. You yeah. hear very few words yeah, out of exactly. him. exactly. Um, so, yeah. yeah, it is kind of jarring to hear this actor's voice. This actor is actually talking a lot. He's trying to think for himself now because right. he's not just a soldier or, right. a, or a robot. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where it goes. I need I need another episode or two before I really make a hard hard decision. Yeah. Yeah, I guess... He's more than the silent assassin. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's fine. Right. As long as it's done right. Right. I think we skipped Ian. Oh, well, I'm sorry, um, I took it over. Basically what Christian said, like, the the scene, um, what do you call it, the, the action sequence in the beginning was really cool. Um, I was telling Christian, you know, when they first, you were playing it earlier, the first scene when they're all, like, talking at the chair with the Scottish guy, I feel like we were watching the new Star Wars series. Okay, that's what my dad said, yeah. too. He said, well, this is a Star Wars. Yeah, it felt very Star Wars-y, and, uh... It's almost like, I don't know if, the, like, I'm sure they didn't do that on purpose, but that's just what it felt like for just whatever reason. Just their their garb, the way they were talking and everything, like the, the, the screens on the wall. It just reminded me a lot of Star Wars. And then as the battle's going on, I was telling Christian, um, it felt like a combination of like, of, like, Star Wars and Dune and Mad Max, specifically like the vehicles. You know, with, like, the turrets on them that seem very Mad Maxy to me. Mm -hmm. It's like this, like, conglomerate of uh, other science fiction films. Yeah. Or whatever you want to call Mad Max. I don't know if that's science fiction, but... Almost the whole show reminded me of a Star Wars episode. Yeah. Um, the, the similarity to Tatooine. Yeah. Um, she and the Mandalorian, as far as him being this stoic you don't know what's on underneath the hill underneath the hood you've got the which groku his isn't exactly helpless but you know he doesn't have longevity as far as what he can do so you've got basically the helpless person that he is reluctantly you know saving yeah uh you've got the you know the outer rim planets there uh, there are rebels all over the place and um, yeah, I got a very big Star Warsy vibe from this. And I never got that playing the games. Did you guys ever get Star Wars vibes from playing the games? A little bit. I got more aliens vibes with the Marines and you know the weapons than Star Wars. Uh, less that, more uh, the alien stuff. Yeah. What do you think, Carl? Did you ever get Star Wars vibes? Yeah, I mean. Maybe because they're floating around in space, but it is more colonial marines up there. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I always got too. aliens vibes from it. Yeah, that's why I liked it so much because I was aliens is like one of my favorite movies. Well, Christian, did you see the latest um, Boba Fett series? Yeah, there, yeah. I I, uh, I watched all that with Ian. Yeah. There's that planet that Mando's introduced on like episode five or six or whatever. And it's in the shape of a ring. I just told like Christian Halo. that we were watching, like, what is this, Halo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Forgot about I, that. Or uh, Treasure Planet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that movie. <laughs> so they are starting to kind of, like, merge in a way. Star Wars and yeah, Halo. Yeah, so Star Wars is ripping off Halo and Halo's ripping off Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> full circle. Yeah. No pun intended. But coming full Halo. <laughs> yeah, fun, coming full Halo. <laughs> oh, and in the 70s, there was a Battlestar Galactica. Remember that the show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never oh. seen it, but I've seen clips. One of the uh, because they've got like basically their their base, the the Cylons base, kind of looks a little bit like the Covenants. Yeah. Okay. And they have a human kind of running things, oh, and wow. these guys have kind of a human. I don't know, necessarily running things, but you know. She's anyway. reading and talking yeah, to right. reading, yeah. yeah. Would you so. would you recommend that show? I've always kind of wanted to Battlestar watch it. Galactica. Yeah. Um, it's uh just just a cheesy seventies. Because I like I like all that okay. stuff that came from Star Wars. You know, like because there's like a big sci fi boom after Star Wars came out. Like Disney made the Black Hole. We got Star Trek the Motion Picture. I kind of like that era. Yeah. yeah then I'd had... watch it. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. We don't see Halo, the Halo planet or Cortana in this episode. 
Which might be a good thing, because he kind of brought up him taking his helmet off. It was probably too quick. I, I wonder, think in the trailer we see Cortana, right? Yeah, I wonder if that's what we're leading up to, Christian. Is is the season finale where he meets Cortana and then uh, Reach blows up? Or how far is this series going to take us, you think? Right up to Halo 1? I don't know. That would be cool if that's what they are doing. I'm not sure what... I would hope they show Cortana before the finale. It'd be nice to spend some time with a live-action Cortana for at least, you know, a couple episodes. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> well, because it seems like she's still in development in Halsey's lab. Oh, right, yeah. It was. I thought that the CGI was pretty good on the profits, though. What'd you guys think? That's one thing I wanted to bring up. I Because you were telling me people are complaining about the CGI. I thought it was fine. The profit I, looked amazing. Yeah, I thought really all the CGI in this was fine. Yeah. At the beginning, there were a couple of places during the battle that looked okay. I don't know if it was because I... We watched it on Christian's computer screen. I didn't get to see it on the TV. I don't. I I thought it all looked fine, personally. There was one part where Master Chief throws his gun to the ground in exchange for the minigun. Okay. And it's a shot where it shows the assault rifle going across the dirt, and okay. it looks pretty bad. Okay. That's my only complaint. Uh, okay. And there was one early in the battle where they, it, one of the Spartans jumped up onto something and it looked kind of, kind of bad, like yeah. out of sync or oh, okay. you know, okay. it's definitely kind of CGI. Thing. Yeah. Christian, what did you think of the CGI? I liked it. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah, I thought it was fine. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, you know, amazing by any means. I mean, um, the profits look pretty good. Yeah. Or the profits. Yeah. Singular. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, it was fine. What, what's, I had no gripes with it. What's your theory behind uh, the profits, um girlfriend? I don't even know what to call her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have too much to say about her. She's only in one scene. Yeah. Um, she is obviously playing some kind of larger role with all that's happening between the Covenant and the UNSC. There, there, there's a lot of stuff in the in this that I need to see more of yeah. to have to form a true opinion on. Yeah, because that so. that lady character, she was never in the video games either. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. No, I remember. <clears throat> Brand new. So we'll see what she does. Yeah. Yeah, probably something bad. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> Christian probably caught it, but when the Spartans are trying to go after the elites into the caves, one of the lady Spartans, she says, this cave is not a natural formation. Yes, he did. He, he yeah. caught that right away, and I didn't. <laughs> yeah. That's a famous line from the very first game for Cortana. Like, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember the uh, scene where... Her name's Quan Ha, right? Yeah. Yep. Chief comes into the room that she's, like, banging on the door at. Yeah. And then when he's walking, um, I pointed this out to Ian. It looked like he had to take a shit. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, he was walking kind of funny. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was kind of silly. Yeah. Maybe they did it on purpose. So Chief? Like, Chief! Show that Chief is a real human who goes to the bathroom. <laughs> so you think Just his like bathroom is built in? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's canon in the books that his bathroom is built in like a bio suit. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. <laughs> no, I think it'd be more funny to see Master Chief on the toilet. The thing I like about Quan is there's nothing special about her. Right. She can't, you know put droids together with her blindfold on and all that kind of bullshit. She's just a normal person that is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope the next episode it turns out she's like a master pilot or something. And And then all the fans will be like, why is he in there too? (laughs) Right. I would be very disappointed if if that... Yeah, it is kind of refreshing to just see her be just a normal person. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's she's trying to get that, that piece out of there so they can disconnect the autopilot you know and finally she just says fucking Burr, right you know? rips it out yeah and if anything that's probably better for character development she can learn things at a pro- at a proper speed mm-hmm. you know so yeah yeah good point i was actually i was just about to point that out yeah i'm glad that she's learning things it's good to see a character go through trial and error right and yeah like you guys said have character development yeah exactly so that i i will agree that is something i did like well, Christian, you've played all the video games. Uh, what do you think about uh, Captain Keys and Miranda? They're Is fine. it Miranda? I kept calling her Amanda. Whoops. Is it Amanda, Miranda? I don't know. Um, I guess uh, 
there is a uh, collective of fans who are upset that uh, they are not white. Yeah, was, we were talking like about that last night or yesterday evening. That's, uh, luckily, I'm not one of those people. Yeah, that's the last of the worries of of Captain Keys and uh, his daughter. In my, we were talking about um, a bunch of people apparently are pissed off that there's going to be black elves in the new Lord of the Rings TV show. It's like yeah. who the fuck cares? Oh, I, come on. I thought that they were cast pretty well, actually. Yeah, they seem fine. Um, I think my biggest complaint though about um, Captain Keys is we didn't have a pipe. No, oh, no pipe God, he was smoking. Right, on. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, screw the color of his skin. We didn't yeah, get a pipe. What's, what's well, the maybe pipe? you can't you can't have tobacco <laughs> products anymore. Yeah, yeah in TV shows. Yeah. You can have people's heads exploding and right, their limbs fall off, but yeah. don't smoke any pipe. Put smoking, the marbles away. You could <laughs> be smoking some like uh, like space version of it, or is that still bad? Regardless, smoking's bad. Space pot. Smoke, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah stay this, away from the spice. This, 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 yeah. yeah, exactly. The stuff that Gandalf and the Hobbit smoked. You know, that one. Right. Normal tobacco. Yeah, don't, I remember they find like a big stash of it in the Two Towers, Merry and Pippin. I forget what they call it. No way. They look like brown leaves. Christian, remember that scene in the Two Towers when Merry and Pippin find that like stash of whatever you want to call that that they start smoking? I think it's just called pipe weed. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah it's pipe weed. weed. Thank that's you. it. Yeah. Yeah, just have yeah. Captain yeah, like, Captain they get stoned that. or whatever. Right, they having a good time. They get relaxed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, you could just give. I don't know. Maybe they're gonna give Captain Keys a vape. <laughs> Damn, that'd be yeah, sad. that's very that's very um, uh, current uh, contemporary. I don't know. Would yeah. you rather? Would you rather they went the movie approach, or are you fine with the the TV series? And this goes for you too, Carlos. I would watch either. I mean, okay. I'm cool with them making a TV show. Um, movies would be great too, though. If you know, if you made a Halo One movie, Halo Two, Halo Three, or however you decide to design the whole structure of it. I've I've been waiting for a movie and t- or anything for a long time. We did get the animes back. Oh, I forgot in like, about those. What was that? 2007. I Christian. Never, I never watched them. The uh, Halo Legends. Those were actually really good too. Did you ever watch those, Christian? I, I no, I didn't. Yeah. Ooh, I recommend those. I didn't <clears throat> yeah, like, do you think this would work? Um, do you think? Do you like the TV approach, or do you think it'd be cool to see it as a movie, Mark? Um, because they can do so much now on TV with the violence. Right. Um, I would stick with TV. I would be afraid that with a movie. You know, it maybe the first couple weekends it, it kicks ass and then it tanks. Yeah, that they won't. They'll be gun shy about making a two. Right. right. The nice thing about a series is, you know, let's say we get you know two seasons into this and it starts to peter out. Um, you know, uh, another. Uh, you know, this is on Paramount. You know, maybe a, another service will pick it up, and continue with its. I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot more flexibility yeah. with a um with a series plus you got some big guns behind this you know you got spielberg you got his amblin yeah, production crazy. company behind it yeah um yeah so hopefully they the could, or go ahead sorry well i was just gonna say hopefully the because there's a lot of unknowns in this you know actor wise hopefully yeah. they will catch on right right you know yeah um one of the guy one of the things that you guys are talking about is uh ah, shit, i can't remember his name the that, chief the chief's voice oh, oh steve, steve downs. downs yeah um you know hopefully that won't be a downer for very long yeah. hopefully everybody will get used to that and then just move on from that christian i remember you said this guy sounds like um like uh christian bale's batman like sort of sort of guy like this at times yeah without without doing uh, too hard of the voice. After too you, hard of the Batman voice. After you said that, I, I know what you mean. I could kind of hear it. But yeah. I don't know if that's because you said it and it's like the placebo effect. I don't know. I kind of get what you're saying, though. What What hit me at first with his voice is once in a while he sounded like Timothy Oliphant. Mm, oh, okay. Every once in a while I could hear that. Okay. At first I thought, you know, he might have been doing the voice. And I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Because I really like his voice. But as it turns out, no. Yeah. What'd you think about the ending, Christian? When Chief's starting to get surrounded by everybody, all the Marines. I was better than the middle of it, for sure. Um, 
You're talking like when him and Quan Ha are in the Pelican. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I like that whole sequence actually. It was pretty cool having all the Marines gear up and get all their oh, guns, yeah. and the Spartans are mm. getting told not to even like attack Chief. Right. I think there's. I that... got some beginning of Halo One vibes with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah which that was all. That's when... probably my favorite level, or one of the, my favorite le- levels in the game. The uh, first cutscene where uh, Johnson is like rallying up all the Marines to get ready for the Covenant invasion. Um, I got vibes from that for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Halsey came off to me like she has kind of a thing for Chief. <laughs> yeah, I mean... She, in... gave, she kept giving this smile Yeah. towards the end. She's like, ooh. I think it's more like, um, like look at what I've created. Like yeah, a Frankenstein's maybe, monster. Yeah. Right, yeah. That could yeah, you're be. probably right. Yeah. <laughs> like a son. Maybe right, yeah. Yeah. What, what did you guys think of the ending? Uh, well, you, you know, I, I mean, you know, I, I liked it. It was fine. It was cool. Yeah, the biggest thing I got was seeing the Marines gear up, grabbing their, their rifles and everything. That's the shit I... Because, again, it reminds me of Aliens. I like that a lot. You guys remember um, when those three Spartans are walking across the bridge, and Halsey's, like, standing really far away from them, but she's just talking in, like, a normal voice. <laughs> yeah, I remember and then that. As, as right, you brought that up. up. She yeah, you that brought that up. Yeah, I remember you brought that it's up. Like, could they hear everything she said? Yeah, <laughs> that's the yeah. small gripe. Is she cook? Is she hooked into their comm link and talking to them on like the radio or uh, something? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. She was just standing there. She didn't have any like gear on or anything. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Maybe that's they funny. have like super hearing. supersonic hearing. <laughs> yeah. Like bats. <laughs> Well, um, I yeah, wanted to bring this up earlier. This is kind of backtracking, but um, I might have already told you this before the podcast started. Christian, you told me that the elites more like look more like brutes than elites. Yeah, they look. They're very thick elites. What do you think of that, Carlos? I thought the they could have looked way worse. So I was just happy that's with what a, we got. That's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> elite wise, that is a good point. The profits looked amazing, the, like almost spot on. The regular yeah. design, or go ahead. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no, I was, no, you're fine. I was just saying the Prophets look spot on. The Elites, I mean, they looked a little different, but, I mean, you know, that's they were good for what they were. The overall design, like, I mean, they have the look of the Elite down. They just, they, they look bad-ish. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought that they were kind of clunky. You know? I don't know. And I just it, it showed it when the one looked like he was going to go to the bathroom, I think. They could have made him a, a bit sleeker yeah because then that's how they are in the games and the games they're pretty sleek yeah 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 maybe it'll make them look more imposing maybe i don't know yeah i think that we did get a wart 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 out of one of them though oh okay wart, 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 wart. you think they're gonna bring in the grunts they need to yeah if they don't <laughs> they gotta bring in the, all, all the stuff they gotta bring in the hunters yeah unfortunately i I don't know if I don't think they can bring in the flood. I just gonna, I was gonna bring that up. I think until Halo One. I that's my favorite Halo um, uh, enemy ever. I would really like to see the flood. They're so gory. That's what I like about I them. yeah. Them. They're like a horror. They're like kind of horrific, and that's what I like about them. They're like the face huggers in Alien, almost kind of in a way. Yeah, or Half Life. Or Half Life, yeah. If they can keep up the gore by like season two and be able to introduce flood. Oh uh, my god. That would be, cool. that'd be a fun show. Yeah, I'd be excited for that. <laughs> It'll be like a horror Since show. Since it is non canon, they could do it. Dude. Yeah, yeah why not? Why Give not? me. Give me that. Why not? Yeah. yeah Over- that'd be great. Overall, Christian, what would you rate the uh, episode one of Halo out of five? I'll be nice and give it three out of five. That's the nice That's score? Nice <laughs> That's the nice score? I don't know. What about you guys? Three and a half. Three and a okay. half? Nice. What about you? Me, um, I'm such a fanboy for Halo. I think try to try to grade it on the merits of this. <laughs> which show. I think you guys are right. I did yawn a little bit, like um, halfway <laughs> yeah. through, and I'm just not ready to see all of Chief's expressions and see him experiencing emotions and stuff. For what it is, I think I agree with Mark at three point five mm-hmm. out of five. It wasn't a masterpiece, but yeah. it was good. We had plenty of violence. We have all the characters that we know and love being introduced. 
It was a master chief, but it wasn't a masterpiece. <laughs> I'm sorry, I added. But um, yeah, anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> and and the effects were good. For there was a few where it can knock some points off yeah. effect wise, but overall the effects were very good. What would you rate it, Ian? I I I feel the same way about it with as Christian does. I'll give it a three out of five. So far, it's fine for what it is. Yeah. In my in my outlook on it. We'll see. Huh. We'll see how episode two is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We got rid of the. We got the episode one blues out of the way. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching Halo yeah. with me, guys. Yeah. Yeah. This is fun. It was good. Yeah. We'll, we'll nice try. talking with all you. Yeah. 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 We'll yeah. we'll try to do episode two next week. Yeah. Give it a short review. Right. Um, and look forward to us hopefully doing the rest of the season if we don't lose interest. <laughs> right, yeah. We might just call it quits. Yeah. Maybe not. Yes. We'll see. Yeah. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you everyone for watching and we will see you next time. Yes. See you next time. Later. Later.